We're going to talk about changing the transistor in an F122. Now, what will happen is you may have been running a program, and the next time you go to run one, you turn on the machine, try to run the program, these lights don't work. The right light and the effect light, and of course nothing comes out of the bulb or the foot bath. So how do you fix this problem? Well, the first thing you try is to change the fuse. So we talked about that a little bit earlier, but if we, you've forgotten, on the back of the device, there is a fuse holder right here. You unscrew this cap, and you'll have spare fuses. Just put a spare one in. Usually that'll take care of the problem. Blown fuses are caused oftentimes by oversolving a foot bath. But if a voltage surge manages to get into this device, it'll go past this fuse, and at that point, it'll hit one of these transistors in the back. So we're going to turn it around. Now on an F122, the transistor that usually gets hit is the right one. Not every time, but most of the time it's right here. How do you know if you got a bad transistor? I'll show you. After changing the fuse, you turn on the machine and watch this light because it'll come on and it'll, it'll glow steady with no program running. Either this light or that light will just glow steady. That means the transistor is blown. And if you leave it out long enough, the next fuse is going to blow. Another one of these is going to blow as well. So I'm going to turn this off. We're going to turn it around. And I'm going to unplug it. Get a little room. And we're going to work with the right transistor right here. So you get your screw gun out and you start unscrewing that transistor. So we'll do that. Carefully remove this. You could just carefully kind of pull on it. What I'm doing right now, I'm pulling off the transistor and what's called the heat sink. That's this metal diamond shaped piece. And here's your transistor. We're going to assume this is the bad one. Now, to find out if it's the bad one, just turn the machine around. And when you turn it on, this light will blink once instead of a steady glow. So you'll get one blink on the light. It's not going to do it now because I've got it unplugged. If it blinks once, everything, believe it or not, will run on that one transistor. But if that light stays on steady, just like before when you remove that transistor, that means we've removed the wrong transistor. It's the other side, which is rare, but it can happen. But for now, we're going to assume it's the transistor that we removed that's bad because 90% of the time it's going to be this one. So at this point, you're going to remove your spare transistor, and that's right over here. So I'm pulling this one out. Before you replace the new transistor in the heat sink, you must make sure that the transistor is placed into this heat sink correctly. So you'll notice the holes here are offset, and likewise the pins of the transistor are also offset. So you want to place the transistor in so that the offset holes match the holes here. And if you line up the holes where the screws go in, you'll notice the pins come through the holes without touching any of this metal flange. Now we're ready to replace the new transistor back into the F122. And of course we got to line all this up. Now we've got the transistors replaced. Many times after this, if we've been testing this, it may still not work, so you'll want to change the fuse again if it doesn't work. And then it'll take off, but we're going to turn it around. Now when you turn the machine on, I have a standalone in here. This light is steady only because I've got a program in here to show that the machine is repaired, it actually works. But here again, if you see that light steady with no program inside this machine or running, that means you've got a blown transistor. And here again, you'll see it runs on either side. You know, and now don't, don't run this without a bulb. I'm just running it for seconds to validate that both sides of the device are working correctly. So that's how you fix things when you're done. You're going to be missing your spare transistor on the back. You can go to the accessories page. You can order a two fuse and transistor kit there so that you have another spare left and then replace it on the back of this machine again so you don't lose it. And here again, you'll see the 
empty holes on the back right here to put in your spare transistor. But once again, you start with this one, and if this one doesn't repair it, then you'll have to move to this transistor here. But most of the time on an F122, this is your problem if you have a blown transistor. So that completes this video on changing transistors. Thank you.